Bomb is without a doubt the nicest, most caring, most loving anime protagonist I think I've ever seen. Correct me if you've seen better because I don't even see how that's possible. In this video, we're taking a look at why we love Bomb so much. Spoilers up to floor 30, so be warned. And it's not just because he's nice, which he is. Most shonen MCs are. But even that being said, I feel like Bomb takes that niceness to another level. He's such a good guy, he doesn't have a single impure thought in his mind. Take a look at this scene for example. Ow, what the? Her chest is so flat and bony. Mine's more comfortable. Let me go. Let me go. Let me go. What a deep scene. What a good guy. Not a smooth guy, but, but a good guy. Bomb is not unlike a baby taking his first steps into the world when we first meet him. His childlike wonder is reminiscent of a time when everything was fun, new, and the potential was limitless. He comes off a bit lost and almost fragile at times. The world he's thrust into is wondrous, unique, and inviting. He's like Alice in Wonderland, except Alice was clearly on drugs. This world is real and it's real sick and demented. It's dangerous, unpredictable. The betrayal rate is so high it makes Game of Thrones look like Teletubbies playing tag. The first friend he makes pushes him out into the deep water for dead. Next person he meets, this cute bunny rabbit. Oh, did I say cute? I meant deranged. He forces Bomb to take on a giant eel made of steel and then destroys it because why? Screw Peter, that's why. But Bomb passes the test, all odds against him, facing the challenge presented without fear. Fueled by a desire to reach the only thing in this world that matters to him. And how can you not cheer for the guy who risks it all for his purpose? The pain of wanting something so badly feels like a burning flame, coursing from within, hungry for success. Have you ever wanted something so bad it feels like every part of you is screaming for it to notice you? Then you know Bomb's thirst. All simping aside, his motives are pure, his purpose is true. It only sucks that his purpose is for some crazy person obsessed with glowing space farts. Seeing someone so fiercely loyal and kind as Bomb get betrayed by the one person he cares most hurts us as much as it hurts him, making us hope for his happiness even more. Seeing unfortunate circumstances play out against the good while the bad go free is a fantastic way to drive a knife in the heart of the viewers. But it makes it even better when the hero gets out of it despite the pain they've gone through and they're stronger because of it. And Bob goes through a lot of pain and I'm sure there's even more to come. All this because he loves his friends. And Bomb himself is the perfect friend. Something everyone wants in their lives. Someone that you can go to with anything or ask for everything. No fear of judgment. And they'll happily put others' needs above their own. Which arguably could come with its own problems. Which I'm sure you guys agree. Or you know what? Maybe you don't agree. Let me know. But seeing someone like that is hard, especially in a world where putting your own needs in front of others means you'll most likely get further in your own goals. In a place like that, loyalty within a friend is a great asset. I hope all of you have these kinds of people in your lives. Speaking from my own experience, I've had friends from elementary school to my late 20s, and I don't trust a single one of them. I did plastic surgery on the front of my face to look like the back of my head, so I'm always looking at those bastard children. Trust no one. Even when Bomb is being used to further the agenda of other organizations within the tower, his mind is set to what is bigger than himself. Never does he think ill of his circumstances, whine and complain at the unfairness of the world. Instead, he powers through, trading his own happiness for the salvation of others. There's that moral question of which would you do? A train is barreling down the tracks and you had to choose between killing one person or killing a hundred. I feel like Bomb is the kind of person to somehow throw himself in the middle of the train, saving everyone in the process. In TOG and even real life, it's easy to see how power goes to someone's head. Within the tower itself, power is the only thing people respect. Not unlike our own world. But for all the power Bomb has, his ability to use his power for good, refrain from corruption, and even help those he probably shouldn't, all the while being hurt himself, is both frustrating and remarkable. Bomb is the kind of person I think we all want to be deep down, but like all the others in the tower, it's just too damn hard. Sometimes to look out for others when your closest friends might be the one with the knife at your back is a difficult ask. I hope Bomb not only gets what he deserves, but I hope he's the one to take it. What I mean by that is Bomb does everything with others in mind. I'd love to see him do it for himself. That's not really how he is at the moment, at least from what I've seen so far. 
but I believe all personality traits have their place. You should be a little jealous so you go after what you want, but not so jealous you take it from others ruthlessly. A little pride so you can enjoy what you've accomplished, but not so much pride you're blinded to other opportunities to learn. This is something I hope Bomb learns himself. Maybe you disagree and he's good as he is. Maybe you don't even like him. I don't see how that's possible, but maybe you don't. Some of the MCs I've seen over time, I don't like. Let me know what you guys think below. End card. Well, Kelly, looks like we just about threw away every perp in this city. Yep. Robbery. Murder. Tax fraud. Tax fraud while murdering. Yep. Good. Oh, looks like we missed one. Who do we have here? Oh, yeah. No subs, McGee. He's one of several felony accounts of watching videos and not liking, not commenting, and not subscribing. Not turning notifications or checking out the links below. By God. Let's book him.